This is Travels with Herodotus by the late Polish journalist and writer Richard Kapuscinski. It's an interesting book. It details uh, certain travels that he undertook in the course of his life, both professionally and uh, as a writer. It's interesting. It covers a lot of ground. But the major problem with this is that Kapuscinski was always the main character of his books, his reportage from Angola, uh, from Ethiopia, Abyssinia as it was, from South America, was so infused with his own personality. He was there, he was the narrator of the books, there was nothing third person about it. But this feels very much like the, the trimmings or the footnotes that were left uh, on the side. Um, he claims that he carried a copy of Herodotus's histories around with him wherever he went. And I suppose in many ways it was fortunate if that was the case. Because here he's able to structure his narrative and his memoirs around a reading of that book, the contemplation and reflection of some of the points that Herodotus raises. And he tries to draw parallels between what the Greeks said and what he saw in his travels and his adventures at the end of the colonial period. It's interesting and it made me want to visit some of the places that he describes, places that I'd never heard of before. Uh, of course, I've, I'd heard of Senegal, uh, Dakar, but now I really want to visit uh, the Ile de Gore, which is an island just off the coast of Dakar. Very small, but it looks beautiful. Uh, it, actually, the name interests me. It comes from the Dutch, uh, Gude Reed. Gure, Gude Reed. And uh, Gude Reed in Dutch meant uh, good harbour. So that's where the name comes from for that. And um, from his descriptions there, the little adventures that he had in Senegal, that's a part of the world that I really want to visit now. So for a book of travel writing, it certainly has done its purpose. It, it's uh, exactly what I wanted. And it was a pleasant read, never anything less than that. Kapuscinski was a good writer. He has a good translator, as always. So. I wouldn't quite put it the way that Giles Foden did when he called it an unmissable treat, but for people who enjoy travel writing, it's certainly worth a few hours of your time. And I'm going to give it three and a half out of five stars.